In this part one, I will introduce you to fast but reliable crossing averages. We already mentioned this crossover system in video 12 about Heikin Ashi recalculated prices. Here we elaborate further on the subject and we will make the specific required formulas available for Metastock and for MetaTrader. Please note, this is not an invitation to trade using this technique. Information given is to be used for training purposes only. Stoccata.org will not accept liability for any loss or damage which may arise directly or indirectly from use or reliance on this information. Pay a visit to my website at stoccata.org and buy my book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis a complete technical analysis reference, inclusive a trading method called Locket. It is a contradiction to have on one side smooth, reliable moving average crossovers, while on the other side having a fast signal at price turning points. Faster means normally shorter moving averages, but that will result in more choppy moves creating more false buy and sell signals. If you want to create fast crossovers with as little as possible false signals, the first thing you have to look for is a way to smooth prices with as little lag as possible. In this chart you can see on the daily price bars three different averages. Green colored a 10 day EMA or an exponential moving average. The main disadvantage seems to be the lagging of this average. It takes more than a week before you have a confirmed uptrend. Red colored, a 10 day TEMA triple exponential moving average. The response of this average is very fast, but there is not enough smoothing of the closing prices. The blue colored line is a 10 day Thema average on Heikin Ashi closing prices. This looks good, it is fast and you can see that the smoothing is excellent. Thema or triple exponential moving average was first introduced in Stocks and Commodities magazine February 1994 by Patrick Molloy. Price is passed multiple times through the same filter and then combined. Thema is actually three times an exponential moving average minus three times the exponential moving average of the exponential moving average plus the exponential moving average of the exponential moving average of the exponential moving average. Metastock and many other programs have a built-in function for the Thema average. If you need a Thema average on the typical price, the high plus low plus closing price divided by 3, you would write the Metastock formula as shown on this slide. For MetaTrader 4 you can find a custom formula for a Thema average on the typical price at my website. The URL is stockata.org forward slash MetaTrader forward slash thema.html. So if you are looking for a good smoothing but still a fast reacting average even using longer periods then the Thema average is for you. The blue curve in this chart is a 20 period Thema average on the typical price of the Euro dollar forex pair using 30 minute bars. Remember, the typical price is the high plus low plus close divided by 3. Heikin Ashi, Japanese for average bar, is a technique using a special kind of candlestick bar for better visualizing price trends. This technique has been introduced by Ben Valku in the February 2004 issue of Stocks and Commodities magazine. The calculation of the Heiken Ashi candlestick is as follows. X close is the open plus high plus low plus close divided by 4 or in other words the average price of the current bar. X open is uh, the X open of the previous bar 
plus the close of the previous bar divided by 2, or in other words the midpoint of the previous bar. X high is the highest value out of the set the high value of today or the X open value. X low is the minimum value between the low value of today or X open. Next I will calculate then the average hike in SE closing price as the result of X close plus X open plus X I plus X low divided by 4. This is the Metastock formula for the average Heikinashi price and can be found starting from my website page stockata.org forward slash metastock forward slash formulas dot html. The Heikinashi closing average price formula for MetaTrader can be found starting from my website page stockata.org forward slash metatrader forward slash formulas html. The result of the Heikin Ashi average closing price can be seen in this chart. There is a good bar to bar smoothing compared to the closing prices. Besides using the TIMA average method on the typical price, we also want to use a TIMA average on the Heikin Ashi average price. The Metastock formula for the average hike in ASHI price can be found starting from my website page stockata.org forward slash metastock forward slash formulas dot html. The hike in ASHI closing average price formula for MetaTrader can be found starting from my website page stockata.org forward slash metatrader forward slash formulas dot html. In the chart here you can see the smoothing effect of a 30 period Heikin Ashi Tima average on a 5 minute Euro US dollar chart. This chart shows in blue the 10 period Tima average on the hourly chart and in red the 10 period Tima average calculated on Heikin Ashi prices. Usually there will be one extra bar delay with the Tima average using the Heikin Ashi prices. On the other hand, as you can see in this chart, there is a better smoothing using the Heikin Ashi recalculated prices. In this 4 hour chart, you can see that trading on crossovers here between the 20 bars Tima average on the typical price in blue and the 20 bars Tima average on the Heikin Ashi prices in red will give nice trading opportunities. However, in part 2 of Fast Crossings we will see how we still can improve the result making the crossovers a bit faster using a zero lagging technique. This is the end of part 1 about the basics of generating fast crossings. In the second part we will add a zero lagging technique for creating even faster crossings. Look out for this next video. Tell your friends about these videos and while visiting my website order my book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis, a complete technical analysis reference and a trading system called Locket. Follow my weekly updates at my website stockata.org about the Standard & Poor's 500 index and the Euro US dollar forex pair. See you in Fast Crossings Part 2.